Happy Friday, my beautiful people. It's Katie and I'm back with another vlog. Today, I'm actually going to be starting a weekend in my life. My parents left me to go to Bora Bora and my two friends are both in different states. So it's just me entertaining myself. We also don't have school today, which is Friday or Monday. So basically four days of just entertaining myself. <laughs> so today I'm actually going to go get an ear piercing because I can. I'm 18, now I legally don't have to ask my parents to do these things. And since they're in Bora Bora, I figured why not just do it? So I just got out the shower and you guys know how I feel about wet hair. Literally, it's driving me bonkers. I hate this feeling. I'm just trying to let it dry and like it's gonna dry so flat and ugly but whatever i'm gonna go pick up jamie and i'm gonna go get my ears pierced i literally can't get over this hair i just put a clip in it right now so hopefully it dries and it's not super flat if you guys have any tips please let me know because literally my hair is so flat up here always but it has so much like volume on the bottom and it really bothers me so i always just do this in hopes that it will give it some mm, and it doesn't work let's go pick up our special guest we're back long time no vlog this is like a comeback oh, moment yes. everyone's gonna be like oh, this is my special guest Yes, Jamie's back in the vlog. We're back at where I got my tattoo and my belly button pierced and I'm gonna get my conch pierced right here. You can see the holes, the little um, stencils in my ear. And we're <laughs> gonna do the bottom one. Don't be sad, go get a piercing. It's so cute. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That was so easy. Literally in and out there in 10 minutes. I love Terminus City. Go here if you're close by. Here's my conch piercing. Hopefully you can see. It's a tiny little stud for now and then eventually I'll change it to a hoop, but it's really cute. I now have seven holes in my body and my parents are going to kill me when they find out I got another one. Everybody <laughs> say thanks to Jamie for coming with me. So I'm obviously home now. That was such an easy and like painless process. I don't know. I love getting piercings. Something about it makes me so happy. I really like my conch piercing. Hopefully you guys can see it because it's literally, it's so tiny, but it's right in there. He told me that mine bled a lot. I'm just gonna clean it with saline solution. This is what they say to use. I've used this on all my piercings and it works perfectly good. So you just kind of put it on a Q-tip and rub it around. I'd say the pain for this was like, not painful at all. It stings for like two seconds. <laughs> but then again, everybody tells me I have a very high pain tolerance. But I can tell that this one's gonna be a sucker to heal. He said that this one takes between three to six months. I don't know though, because I have like my cartilage pierced. I have both my double lobes. I have that one now and my belly button. And none of them really hurt that much. I'd say my cartilage hurt the most. My parents still don't know. <laughs> I'm not planning on telling them yet, but you guys saw Jamie. I just want to address something. Jamie and I have been friends for a really long time. We never stopped being friends, but we did grow apart a little bit. And I still get comments all the time asking if Avery and I are friends and Avery and I are not friends anymore. I don't really want to address it, but beyond that, as you get older, people grow apart and they change and it was for the better. So yes, Jamie and I are friends. We're not as close as we used to be and I still love her to death and it was really good to see her and I'm glad she came with me. We also went to Target. I want to show you guys a little Target haul. I go on spring break in like two weeks so I hope it doesn't get infected in Mexico because I'm going to Mexico, Cancun. So excited. That's gonna be a fun vlog. I'm in my bathroom because it's literally 6 30 and it gets so dark so early so if I want any form of lighting it has to be my bathroom. Mini Target haul. First thing that I got is just some dry shampoo. I ran out of my dry shampoo and I got this one because it was the first one on the aisle and it said toasted coconut and I love any coconut. It also says texturizing and as you know I was complaining about how flat my hair is up here. So let me know if this one's good, if you have any dry shampoo recommendations. It smells yummy so I got this one. Sticking along with the blue theme, Target has the cutest little like comfy clothes section and Colsey is like the best. They make all the cutest stuff. So I just got this like matching set. It has these PJ shorts with like pockets in them. They're blue. Then it comes with this little top. This looks a little bit big. I got it in a medium. I don't know, maybe I should have got a small, but it looks really cute and comfy for like pajamas. And this was like $15 each, I think. Super cute, love it, very comfy. Gonna wear it tonight to bed. And then lastly, I got a PR package. I don't know what it is. It says Katie McKenzie on it too, which if anything says Katie McKenzie, that's how I know it's PR because when I order anything personally, it says my last name. If you didn't know, Mackenzie is my middle name, not my last name. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's Celsius. Alani Nu and Celsius are my favorite energy drinks and Celsius sent me some sparkling orange. <gasps> I've never tried this flavor. That's exciting. They sent me some last week too and I've already drank like half of them. Thank you Celsius, love this.
Good morning vlog. I literally just woke up. I think you can tell because this is what I look like. It's 11.30. So here's the thing. I haven't been sleeping good at all. I woke up at 8.30 this morning and was awake for like 30 minutes just laying in my bed because I don't want to go on my phone because that'll wake me up. I don't want to be awake for the day yet. So I just laid there and then I slept in till like 11.15. I'm happy with that at least. My hair. Oh my gosh. I slept with it in a ponytail last night because I didn't want to irritate my piercing. I will say my piercing Piercing, my new one was not irritated at all last night. I just slept on this side But I will say putting all my pressure on this cartilage piercing definitely irritated that because normally I'll like switch off sleeping on both sides and there's no problem So I don't put all my pressure on this one piercing all night because I did it feels like it's gonna hurt a little bit So I don't know it definitely like looks a little bit red to me, but this one is fine. No pain yet This was a set I got from Target yesterday. It's so cute. I wore it to sleep in. It's so comfortable really like it. I want all the other colors. They had like a purple and now I'm like determined because this is the most comfy thing I've ever worn. This morning, my video of me cleaning out my closets went up at 7 a.m. Fun fact, I schedule all my videos to go live at 7 a.m. Extreme closet clean out, decluttering, organizing. I did that video and I need to list a bunch of the stuff that I'm selling. A bunch of you guys have already bought <laughs> some of the stuff, which is so cool. I woke up to this morning. Go check that out. I'm listing a ton of clothes. I need to like take pictures of them and post them to Depop today. I need to do a lot of that. I want to go to the gym, but I'm unsure if I will because I think I tweaked my back yesterday. Yeah, I really don't have any other plans. <laughs> it's a Saturday and it feels like Sunday because yesterday I didn't have any school. I can't live without my Apple Watch. It's one of the first things I do in the morning because so many times throughout the day, if I don't put it on, I'm like this. And I'm like, dang it, I don't know what time it is now. made progress right now i'm watching my my favorite i love literally watching all of her new york vlogs i want to be her my can we be friends <laughs> i also packaged four packages to ship out and listed a bunch of more stuff on my depop as you can see i have these two bags full of stuff that need to get sold and if they don't get sold i'll just donate them that's okay but i ran out of packing tape and had to use scotch tape so i gotta pick up some more of that soon but those are all ready to be shipped out it's now 12 58 and i still have not left my bed <laughs> it's also so cold in Georgia today. We've been having these like cold fronts where they just come and go and come and go. Literally right now it's 33 degrees. Can you see that? What the heck? It was literally 80 like last week. I really don't understand. Somebody bought my Gymshark shorts. It's crazy. I'm watching them come in and I'm doing it real time like when people buy them. So yeah, I decided that I think I'm just gonna use Depop. Depop's just easier. It's faster. They don't take much of a fee and I just like the layout of it. It feels like new and modern while Poshmark feels like older. Also, Depop sponsored me a while ago and I'm still obsessed with them and I'd rather promote something that I actually like a lot and that's Depop so sorry this isn't sponsored by them but yeah there's mine so it's definitely 3 p.m. and I've finally decided to get my day started a little bit I just did my eyebrows and now I'm gonna put on some mascara and we're gonna call that wraps when it comes to makeup I got these Celsius's yesterday as you saw and I've never tried this flavor and I want to try it I'm not a huge fan of anything carbonated so I don't know how much I'm gonna like the sparkling version my my favorite Celsius is the raspberry acai green tea because it's uncarbonated. And fun fact, I love tea. Cheers to sparkling orange. I kind of like it, but I kind of don't like it. I will say it's very carbonated, like very carbonated. It feels like spicy. <laughs> it kind of tastes like if you just made orange juice sparkling and I think that was probably their intention. Not bad. Lancome actually sent me some makeup like a few days ago and I love trying out new makeup. It's so fun. I feel like I always do the same makeup look, but I just like trying out new products to get that look. And they sent me this mascara, Lancome. And then they also sent me this liner and I'm obsessed with the liner. It's ultra precise waterproof this is so good i've been doing my wings with it recently i don't know if i'll do a wing today I'm not really feeling like it but i really like this collection and it's so cute it's pink and anything pink i'm a sucker for pink and orange my favorite colors and black i'm just gonna finish up this mascara and then i'm headed to walmart to get some more packing tape so i can finish packaging up these depop packages because you guys have already shown me so much support and bought so much stuff off my depop thank you every time i check my phone it's like two new items have been sold i've just been listing them all day selling them packaging them it kind of sucks i kind of don't like the process but 
it's worth it because you guys get fun new clothes. I make a little bit of money. Y'all see how blonde my eyelashes is? I used to get eyelash lifts and tints and I think I'm gonna do it again before spring break because I'm going to Mexico and I don't wanna have to worry about mascara because that's so annoying. I haven't done it in months, probably a year. Those are awful for your eyelashes, but if you're blonde, it makes the biggest difference. Highly recommend. It's also expensive. I'm trying to save money. Hopefully by you guys buying my Depop stuff, I'll make a little bit of money. <laughs> I've got my little 80s hair in. I literally am obsessed with like baby scrunchies. Not full big scrunchies, but like the little ones because they don't pull my hair out. They're still comfy and cute. And you guys know I like literally live in the zip up. So I'm just wearing this tank top because I don't have to wear a bra. It's from Gymshark. Zip up is from Boohoo. These sweats are Gymshark. And I'm going to put some socks and shoes on. It's freezing outside. 30 degrees. So I'm going to wear my Fox socks. <laughs> and we're going to head to the post office and Walmart. The UPS store. I only have four packages to ship out right now because I have no more tape. The best part about Depop is you literally just drop them off. You don't pay shipping and they do it all for you. Hi. Thank you. Hey. Have a good one. It may be freezing outside, but it is a beautiful sunny day and nothing makes me feel happier than when the sun is out and shining. And so I am jamming out right now. I don't know how much of that you just heard because of copyright. I'm not trying to get copyrighted, but just know that my dance moves were there and I hope it inspired you guys. Okay, no vlogging and driving. I think that's illegal. An immaculate car ride if I do say so myself. Headed in to Wally World. Y'all know what section I go to first every time. The ducks. I don't think they have any. Dang it. If you guys are ever wondering where I get my ducks from, it's always this section, the baby section of Walmart. Need some hangers because I cleaned out my closet. So we're gonna grab 18. I have no idea where you get packing tape. I think I spot the tape. I have to, oh my gosh, I'm like literally crawling to get through here. But this is duct tape, so it's gotta be close, right? How do you have every kind of tape besides packing tape? Why can't I find tape? Oh, uh, dang, that's why. This is the last three rolls. Okay, well, found tape. Every time I come in, I love to look through the makeup and beauty products. It really does remind me of when I was little and I used to only make makeup videos. You guys have seen me grow, and so it just gives me like flashbacks and you guys are the reason that I'm able to do this and I'm so thankful for you, like so grateful. Also, there's a lot of people staring at me. <laughs> this e.l.f. liner is like the best. It's this one. No budge retractable black eyeliner. I use this every single day on my waterline. These $3 e.l.f. brow pencils are amazing as well. I feel like everything e.l.f. makes is really good. Their eyebrow gel, this one, also amazing. This wet and wild liquid eyeliner is my favorite for wings. I use that every day when I'm wearing liquid liner. And then of course we have my favorite facial products. This is the face cleanser that I use. I also use CeraVe moisturizer and have been for years. Don't ever hate on drugstore products. They're the best and they're affordable. I've been getting into my car and every time I get this low tire message, low tire, stop carefully. So I gotta feel the pressure in my tires. We're gonna do that real quick. And then I'm gonna take all the trash out of my car. My car is gross. This is why we love QT. A lot of people don't know how to inflate their tires. Basically, you undo this little thing. You just put the air in it until your PSI is what number it needs to be. Don't lose these. I always lose these. Well, I went to two gas stations to try and put air in my tires for free and both of the pumps were broken. So now, I to pay to put the air in my tires. This is the one that it keeps telling me is about to like combust. I've done this like twice before and every time I screw it up. Oh my gosh, there's no way I'm doing this right. I am a strong, independent young woman, but when it comes to filling up the air in my tires, I am so lost. Like I literally just sat out there holding it for so long. I have no idea if the air was going in. Now my car won't even tell me it inflated at all. It still says I have low tires. So I'm just gonna get a man in my life to do this for me. I literally am so confused and I'm freezing. Literally my fingers, you can see, my fingers are Frozen! Good morning vlog and happy Sunday. It is currently 9.30 in the morning and I'm headed to work because I am scheduled to work 9.30 to 4 today and I don't normally work Sundays but they needed somebody to come in and I said I would a few days ago. This morning I've been up since 8 a.m. dealing with my car because it decided to have a flat tire. Last night I slept over at a friend's house and had a great night spent with some people that I haven't seen in a really long time. I didn't vlog it just because I wanted just a little bit of fun and personal space you know. I woke up this morning because I knew I had to go to work by 9.30 and at 8 a.m. I woke up and you guys saw yesterday when I tried to fill and 
put the air pressure in my tires. Today, I woke up in the PSI on my air in my tires was six, which is like unsafe to drive. So I had to shower, get ready for work. My grandparents are staying with us while my parents are in Bora Bora. So thank goodness for my sweet papa, the sweetest grandpa ever was dealing with my car. AAA had to come and pump up my tires just so it could not be flat. And then my papa has to take it to a specialty tire shop, all this drama. And now I'm driving my grandparents' car to work. I don't know, I have five minutes left to get there. <laughs> yeah, that's been my morning so far. Not very fun. I've already been up for an hour and a half and I'm exhausted. It's also 20 degrees outside. That's why you see this pink little nose. It's not blush. It's cold. Come to work with me on this fine Sunday morning. I haven't worked an opening shift here in so long. I just did all my opening duties. I'm about to crack open another Celsius. I got a cup of ice because Celsius is better when it's cold. I'm tired. This is my breakfast that I brought because I'm so hungry. Berries and then Honey Nut Cheerios, but they're heart shaped. They're so cute. And I'm gonna eat this until somebody comes in. <laughs> Hello guys, I'm here with Chef. Hey, well. <laughs> Chef's my favorite. Basically, a lot of our bays are full right now. We have five out of our seven bays full. We offer like other sports, but mostly people play golf. And so it's all like golf guys. But it's 11.16, so lunch is about to happen. I haven't worked a morning shift in so long. I normally always close. I kind of like it though. Okay, well that's my update for now. Say bye. Later. I'm in the closet looking like for a spare seven iron. We have PXG clubs here, which are really nice if you know anything about golf. We have seven bays open in the downstairs and in the bay is where you play golf and all the other sports. And then we have four private bays upstairs for events and stuff. And we have two events today during my shift and we're missing a seven iron up there. So I'm gonna take you guys upstairs. I don't think I've ever showed y'all the upstairs. You guys have seen the downstairs. Let's go up the storage closet. <laughs> they put salt all over our stairs so nobody slips. That's actually so sweet. Here's our upstairs. We have this like private lounge. Oh, there's me. Here we go. So this is our champions club, our private lounge. It has a full bar, pool table, and then these are the bays that are like downstairs. Here's JC, that's my manager. I'm clocking out. Oh my gosh, that was a long shift. I just woke up from the best nap ever. You can see it on my face. I slept so good. I got off work at like 4.15 and I literally came home and crashed. Now it's almost 7 p.m., 6.58. I could have kept sleeping, but I want to go upstairs and hang out with my grandparents because my parents' flight got delayed from Tahiti to Los Angeles and then from Los Angeles, they were supposed to fly home. Today was supposed to be the last day they're staying with us, but I think they're gonna stay with us tomorrow too because my parents will be home till Tuesday now. And I want you guys to say hi to Mimi and Papa because they're amazing and I've really enjoyed this time with them. They're the sweetest grandparents ever. Car update or something in like the wheel well. I don't know. Basically I have to wait for my parents to get home because we couldn't figure it out. Kind of upset because the Katie Coop is like slowly falling apart. I love my car but the car is always in the shop I swear. Hi. Hi. Yummy pizza. It's amazing. Antico. Yeah. Good morning vlog. It is now Monday at 12 in the afternoon and I did just wake up. I really needed that sleep. I barely slept this weekend and I just haven't been sleeping good at all. So I kind of needed that recovery sleep. Like I said at the beginning of this video, we didn't have school today. So I'm gonna keep doing my Depop orders. Gonna catch up on some school, read my book. I think I'm gonna grab lunch with Jamie and that's pretty much all my plans for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this weekend vlog. I had a lot of fun just hanging out with you guys. I feel like it's been a while since I've done that. Hopefully you enjoyed watching me do all these little festivities with myself because reminder that it's important to spend time with yourself. You have to care to yourself just like you would to another person. You can't love anybody else without loving yourself. So make time to do something for you. Go check out my Depop. I just listed a bunch of new stuff today. I've already shipped out some packages. As you saw, I'm gonna ship out some more today. Subscribe if you're new. Follow my Instagram to keep up with me in real time and I'll see you in my next vlog. Bye.